Hi everyone, welcome to DG Virtual Academy. We are so excited you could join us. Do not attempt any of these exercises without adult supervision. Also, be aware of your surroundings. Make sure the area you are doing gymnastics is on the grass or a panel mat. Remove any objects or people from the area to avoid hurting yourself or anyone else. Hi everybody, it's Friday, woo! Okay, so today I'm gonna be doing more domestic drills. If you are a beginner, an eight and up beginner, or even an adult beginner, and you have never done gymnastics before, or if you're at the pike level, flip it back to yesterday's video. We're gonna be working on bluegill and pike on Thursdays, and we're gonna be doing a little bit more advanced. So this one is gonna be for our advanced kids, our super gym stars, our elite gym stars, our barracudas and stingrays, and it's gonna be for our Excel and developmental team kids too. You guys can do this too. So this video is gonna be way more advanced than yesterday for beam work. If you, again, if you're a beginner or even at that intermediate stage, Please watch yesterday's video. This one is going to be way more advanced than yesterday, okay? So make sure you are kicking it back to that video. All right, let's get going. No. Okay, we're gonna start with our warm up that we would normally do in the gym. Now, if you want to, you can run back and forth. I know there's not a ton of place. I don't know if any of you have a full spring floor in your house, but I certainly don't. So I'm gonna do everything in place. If you want to actually move, you can but I'm gonna do everything in place. So ready? First, we're gonna run with our knees up. Then kick your butt. My dog's not gonna like this. And one arm circle. And the other one. Hi, Tucker. And both. Good. Now we're gonna step up into releve, arms nice and tight. We'll talk more about releve if you've never done this before. But basically get on your tiptoes and walk a little bit. Good. Now, because you don't feel like that was enough to get my heart moving, let's run a little bit more. And go, go, and sprint. Go, 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 go. Good, that should do it. If you still need a little bit more of a warm up, hit 15 jumping jacks real quick, hit the pause button. I'm not gonna do much more because I'm pretty good. Oh, okay. Hello, hi handsome. We're gonna go ahead and start stretching. This is my dog Tucker. He may get in the way a little bit, but that's okay. Cause he's pretty cute. Say hi Tucker. Hi. Yes, okay. So first we're gonna reach to one side. I'm gonna choose my right first and reach. Go one, two, three. Try to touch your nose to your knee. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To the middle and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Let's flex and pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And in the middle one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Very good. We're moving on to pike. And pull. One, two, three, four, five, make sure your knees are straight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flex those feet, grab those toes if you can. Again, make sure your knees are straight. So if you can only grab your ankles, that's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm still sore for Move It Monday, so whew, this is feeling good. All right. Pull in those butterflies and we're gonna push these knees down. Remember, no stretching should be super painful. So don't do this really fast and you know break both of your hips. Do it nice and slow and you should just feel a little tingling, maybe a little bit of like, ooh, I'm stretching, but no pain should ever happen in stretching. Okay, ready and push. Good. 
and push your toes out to a diamond and head down. Very good. We're going to do our ankles. Roll those ankles out. And switch. Good. We need some music. And let's switch. I have a beatboxing friend in the corner. That's silly. And pull up that knee. We're going to stretch the back of that leg. Ooh, like I said, my knees or legs are sore from Move It Monday. If you need a good leg workout, go do Move It Monday because it was tricky. The Cupid Shuffle is by far the worst concoction I have ever made. Switch those legs and it hurts and it's good for your cardio. So this feels good. All right, let's take that one arm, pull it across your body and give it a hug. And switch it. Very good. Arm up and over, grab your elbow. And switch. And I think I forgot to mention that we're going to be doing some pike level drills today, too. So if you're in pike class and you listen to the opener and you're like, uh, Miss Amber, I'm in pike. This is going to be good for you, too, because I'll give on the pike add-ons if you're in pike, okay? That's our intermediate level. Let's do our next side. Two side. And down and up. And around. In circles. Very good. Let's do our seal stretch. Remember, feet stay together behind you. Push those hips to the ground and arch, arch, arch. Good. You should feel this in your abs. And back to a cat stretch. Push those armpits to the ground as low as you can get. Make sure your arms are nice and straight. This is not a cat stretch. Meow. Very good. We're going to do our wrists. Fingers towards me, forward and backward. You know, unless your tablet is crooked. Just realized that I could be anywhere in your house, really. And fingers towards you. Flip them over. And side to side, bring it around town. And reverse it. Turn around it, bring. I should learn how to say that with the letters backwards. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Very good. Okay, now, if you know me, you know that I am not a very flexible person when it comes to my back. I'm 30 years old. I don't have to do this part. But if you're watching this video, it means that you're at the level that you can do it on your own. So, ready? I'm going to give you your verbal cues, and you're going to do it. So, Pizza hands, lay it on down, and bridge it on up. Ready, hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come down, rock out your back. All right, ready? We're going to push back up, and we're going to rock back and forth 10 times. Ready, set, push up, and rock. 1, 2, 3. Four, I could floss. Five, six, no, I can't. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and rock that back back out. Good job. All right, now we're going to push up and we're going to get five kicks on each leg. Make sure that leg is nice and straight and you're kicking up as high as you can to keep a straight leg and a pointed toe. Okay, ready? Push it on up and right leg first. Kick it up. One, two, three. Four, five, don't come down, switch legs, and go. Two, three, four, and five. Good job. Rock out that back one more time. If you need some extra stretching, hit both your right, your left, and your middle splits, and we are going to get started, okay? Well, hello, Tucker. Hi. Are you going to come be in our video? Hi, buddy. We're going to get started with our beam warm-up. You want to do it? You can do it. Okay, we're going to start with releve walks, arms up, nice and tall, and step, 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 
step. When we get to the end, we're going to pivot, turn it around, and go. Very good. We're going to do forward kicks. Arms out, palms back. Step, kick, kick, kick. Make sure your leg is staying straight. Even if you can kick way up here, if that leg is not straight, including the bottom one, it does not matter. Arms out, palms back. Kick, kick kick. Whoo, my legs are sore for Move It Monday, so I'm struggling a little bit. Sideways. Kick. 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 And we'll do sideways one more time because we don't have a ton of room. So I'm going to do two. All right. And backwards. Arms out, palms back. Kick it back. Keep those legs straight. You should be engaging your booty on this one. Okay. And let's kick it back. Very nice job. Let's get some bunny hops going. So when you do a good bunny hop, stay on the ball of your feet. You don't want to slam those heels down. Ready? Up, angle. Don't slam those heels down. Ready, go. Very good. Let's hit some straight jumps. Feet together. Well, feet together per beam, you guys know. Swing down, up, and stick. Now, when you're doing a straight jump, you should not travel forward too much. You're going to naturally, but we should be trying to go up, not out on a straight jump. So then take your step and swing it, launch. Good. Swing it, launch. Very nice. Let's hit some going back. Very good. Rock on, one more. Oh, I'm already getting tired. Very nice job. Okay, we're gonna work on our step block position. So, my Excels know this one. I don't know if developmental team does or not, but Barracuda Stingrays, Stars, this one's one of my favorite ones. We call them turn walks, okay? There's a couple versions of turn walks, but this is my step block walk, I guess, yeah. It's not really got a name yet, but we're gonna start, and it's just like your pivot turn position. So, we're step block. And pulling down. Make sure that back foot gets underneath that heel. We talk about this all the time. Miss Amber is not a gymnast. You should be doing this better than me. Ready? Step, walk, and down. Step, walk, and down. Now on the way back, try your other leg. Non-dominant foot. Step, walk, and down. Step, walk, and down. Step, walk, and down. Very good. Good job. Okay. Our next turn walk is actually pretty fun. And if you don't have a vinyl mat, this is gonna be kind of hard. If you're on carpet, it'll work. Um, if you're outside, make sure you've got some good shoes on because the ball of your foot's gonna get a little scraped up, okay? So we're gonna go on our toes, arms out, and we're going to spin this way and spin this way. Keep that belly tight. Now, if I were on a beam, I would have fallen off about eight times on that one. So really, really try to stay in a straight line. Good. That one was much better for me. Whoo, this is hard. You guys don't let this on as hard as it is. You're doing great. Okay, so that was our beam warm up for the day. And we're gonna go ahead and get started with turns. All right, if at any time you need a drink, make sure you have some water next to you so that you can hit that pause button and get a drink. Staying hydrated when you do these workouts is super important. So grab your cup, a water bottle, whatever it may be, Get a drink real quick and make sure you are staying hydrated. Okay, so our first turn, we're gonna work on pivot turns. And even those of you who are like, I do a half turn in my routine, we need to work on pivot turns still. It's very important to keep these basics in mind when you're moving on. So we're going to work on that pivot turn. Dominant foot in front, and remember, you always spin toward your back leg, okay? So if you try to put this dominant foot in front and you spin over your front leg, you're going to get all tangled up and look like a pretzel, okay? So we're going to turn over that back leg. So we're going to start arms down, step lock, belly tight, turn over that back leg, and come on down, okay? So let's do it again. Ready? Step lock, turn, come on down. Good. Let's do a couple more, ready? Step, lock, turn, come on down, good. 
One more. Step, lock, turn, come on down. Now you see me wobbling. That's because I don't have a great core engagement. Make sure that your belly is gonna be nice and tight, pulling that belly button into your spine. I can't talk and squeeze my stomach at the same time, so you're gonna see a lot of wobbling out of me. But you don't have to talk, you just have to listen. So keep that belly tight. We're gonna try some with our non-dominant leg now. I'm a righty, so I'm gonna try with my left now. Okay, ready? Step, lock, turn, and finish. Good, ooh, that one was real wobbly. Step, lock, turn, and finish. Good. Step, lock, turn, and finish. One more, ready? Step, lock, turn, and finish. Good. That was awesome. Good job on those pivot turns. We're gonna work on quarter quarters, okay? You will typically not see these on beam, but if you're not ready for a half turn yet, and quite frankly, everyone needs to work on quarter quarters. It's important because getting that full half turn is tricky. So we're gonna start in our good turn position, which requires a good lunge. Straight leg, butt leg, arms out. So make your beach ball, and this one's gonna throw it away, okay? Nice soft arms here. Then we're gonna step up to passe, turn to the quarter, and turn to the quarter. See how I'm already falling down? It's a zig, okay? Ready? Lunge it out, good. Step up, turn, and turn, good. Everybody's doing quarters, ready? Push it out, and go. One, and two, whoo! Again, I was not a gymnast, I also was not a dancer. For those of you who don't know me, my athletic career was solely based on cheerleading and we quite frankly didn't do turns. Ready? Straighten it out and up and up. Very good. We're gonna move on to a half. If you don't think you're ready for a half turn, that's okay, okay? Stick with those quarters. You can keep practicing them when I move on to a half. Now, when we do a half turn, this back leg is actually going to land in front. If you land with that back leg in back, it will not count as a half turn, okay? And make sure you're hitting your good passe position. Everyone who's watching this video should know a good passe. If you need some review on it, kick it back to yesterday because I really broke down exactly what we're looking for in passe, okay? So we're gonna start in that same position. The arms come up, we're gonna go to passe and we're gonna turn it, ready, set, go. And finish. Now if you notice, I didn't point my toe because I felt it. So we're gonna try again. Make sure you're pointing that toe and getting all the way up to passe. Ready? Turn it and go. And finish. Good. Make sure that front leg is ending, or that passe leg is ending up in the front just to make sure we're getting that credit when we go to compete. Ready? Good. Starting position. Ready? Set. Turn. And go. Good. Let's do a couple more. Ready? Starting position, get those arms all the way up. One, two, three, turn it and finish. Again, if you are not ready for a half turn, that's okay. Stick with your pivot turns or your quarter quarters because we wanna make sure we have great pivot turns and great quarter quarters before we get to the half or else you'll notice you're gonna fall off your beam a lot trying to do a half turn, okay? All right, that was pretty advanced, but you guys did a great job. We're gonna move on. Okay. So if you created your beam somewhere where you do not have a wall, kick it on inside where you have a nice open wall like mine, okay? That you can do some wall drills, cool? You're gonna wanna turn your beam sideways. Again, I don't have one because I'm a bum, but that's okay. Um, you're gonna turn your beam sideways or your painter's tape beam, you're gonna turn it sideways. So again, if you need some tutorials on how to make a beam, check out yesterday's video or Tuesday's video for hopping at home. I made a really good one on a painter's tape, okay? So we're going to start in a nice good lunge. Cool. And we're gonna put those arms up and we're gonna do our T drills first, okay? So lunge, kick it to a T, hold, and come back up. Now we wanna try to hold these for 10 seconds at a time. Notice I didn't start right on top of my wall. If you start right on top of your wall, either you're gonna bash your forehead or you're gonna give me one of these. And this is not a T, okay? So we're starting far enough back that we can really reach into our wall, lunge, Push, hold, hold, and step back up. Very good. Ready? Lunge, we're gonna do the full 10 seconds this time. And go. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good job. You guys rock. Okay, so once we've got our T, if you can do that without the wall, that's gonna be super helpful to you soon. So ready, we're gonna lunge and hold and back up. I am not very good at teeing, okay? So I need the wall. You guys are stronger. You're awesome gymnasts. You can do this. You're gonna hold that tee for at least five seconds. So ready? We're gonna try it without the wall and see if you can do it. Hit that lunge and tee it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you made it to 10, you are a baller and I would love to see it. Email me, okay? My email is instructional at downrivergymnastics.net. I wanna see these tees. That was probably amazing if you held it for a full 10 seconds, okay? So working on this T motion leads us up to our lever. So I'm gonna turn off my camera so I can turn you back sideways. Move your beam sideways or go back out to your sideways beam if you're outside, okay? Okay, we're gonna start our lever work, okay? So if you have an elevated beam or if you've got your sideways beam back out, that'd be great. Get that painter's tape down, do what you need to do to make sure that you have your targeting. I'm gonna do it without targeting, but I'm 30, I'm allowed, okay? So we're gonna start in that nice big lunge, arms up. We're gonna hit that T first. Then from here, we're gonna go back to our T and stand it on back up. Your goal for a good lever is to stay in a nice straight line. Like you have a plank nailed into your head all the way down to your ankle. That cannot bend, okay? So we're gonna start with our dominant leg in that nice good lunge. T. Touch, T, and up. Very good job. Ready? Lunge, T, touch, T, and up. You guys rock. Ready? Let's do three more. And I'm going to go a little quicker now. T, touch, T, up. Good. Ooh, that one just met my finger all kind of funky. Ready? Lunge, T, touch, T, up. One more. Lunge, T, touch, T, up. Good job. We've got some lever action. Okay, if you need to practice more levers, these are the introduction to your cartwheel, your handstand, all of it on beam. So these are going to be so important to practice. Make sure you're working on those levers, okay? All right. That's all the time we have today. I'll be back every Friday for this level. So again, this is our advanced level a little bit. It's great for drilling. It's good to keep up your skills. So if you want to kick it back with me every Friday at three, we're going to be working domestic drills for this level right here. Okay. Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. And we will see you soon. Thanks for watching this presentation of Downriver Gymnastics Virtual Academy. If you liked this video, give it a like below or comment so we have some extra feedback. Want more videos like this one? Hit that subscribe button because we are going to be coming nonstop with fun things you can do at home. Thanks for watching Downover Gymnastics Virtual Academy.